This memoir took place on Friday, May 6th, 2011, and was recorded on Saturday, May 7th, 4.19 a.m. I went on a date tonight. Well, technically last night, but that's beside the point. Anyways, I went on a date, and I can't tell you how many times I almost said your name. Every time I said hers, I had to carefully construct every thought so I wouldn't say yours. I wanted to say your name. But I don't... I don't know why. She's nothing like you. In fact, she's better. Better for me. Maybe... Subconsciously, there's something about her that reminds me of you. But what? <sighs> is there... Is there something that I'm missing? When we, um, when we were at dinner, while she was talking to me, I looked, I was basically looking at her lips the whole time and thinking what it would be like to kiss them. And if I did, then the scenario would be something like me placing my palms on the sides of her neck and resting my thumbs in the ridge of where the jaw meets the bottom of the ear. Her soft pink lips against mine, slowly easing my tongue into her mouth. Just like how I used to kiss you. But what the hell does that have to do with anything? I'm just a passionate kisser by nature. You know, I think, <clears throat> I think because you were my most recent relationship that I started making comparisons. But tonight, <sighs> tonight, man, tonight I just felt alive you know I honestly cannot remember the last time I laughed that hard stimulating conversation someone who shares my uncomfortable awkwardness <laughs> I was in heaven after two months of being Emotionally repressed and another three of hurtful self-questioning. I was alive. But for some, some reason that I can't seem to understand, you were there. In the midst of it all, you were there.